Inside Africa, in association with Zenith Bank. In the middle of the Indian Ocean lies the tiny island of Rodriguez. An autonomous territory of Mauritius, this remote outer island has sustained itself for centuries on what it harvests from the surrounding sea and its lush landscapes. One of the most coveted crops is the Rodriguez lemon, known for its strong, sweet, acidic taste. It's a distant cousin of the Mexican lime, known also as the key lime. Because it is the sandy conditions and also it is fresh air, so a lot of uh, lemon, lemon trees will grow perfectly in this region. As farmers on this isolated island deal with the effects of climate change, does this potent fruit hold the secret to biodiversity? And there were characteristic molecules that were present in this lime that wasn't present into other limes. This is the Rodriguez lemon. This is Inside Africa. My name is Jessica, and I live in Gravier, a village near the sea. I am a single mother of four, and I cultivate lemons for a living. I have been harvesting lemons since I was seven years old. My grandfather used to cultivate these same lemons. These trees are more than 20 years old. Lemon trees like these have provided a livelihood and sustenance for the people of Rodriguez for generations. I sell the lemons as most of the time people buy them for export. Some people buy them to make juice and also sweet and sour products. If I didn't have these lemon trees, I wouldn't be able to feed my children. According to the Digest of Statistics on Rodriguez, 179 tons of lemons were exported from Rodriguez to Mauritius in 2016. The Gravier Lime Processing Plant was established to keep some of the industry in Rodriguez. We buy our lemons from the planters who pick them the day before we cut them. The planters bring the lemons here and we count and weigh them. We wash the lemon three times. The first wash takes off most of the big dirt. Then we do a second washing with a small amount of antibacterial solution to kill all bacteria. Finally, a third washing happens with warm water and then we let them dry. When they're ready, we cut them take out the seeds, and we arrange them into piles. The chopped lemons are put into this machine behind me. They go in here, and the juice comes out down here, where we fill gallons of it into plastic jugs. When they get to a certain quantity, they send the jugs into the cold room. natural, 
So this lemon is natural. No chemicals are added. The taste of the lemon is better because we do not use any chemicals. And it's better for our health. This is pure lemonade, 100% juice. It's exported across the sea to hotels in Mauritius. Known for its special taste and aroma, the drink has built a reputation that has only grown over the years. Before talking about the lemons, I think the Rodrix itself is special. The fact that it's far away, it's in the middle of nowhere, you know, it's, it's a special island. I think the lemon of Roderick is special because uh, of the climate of the island and also of the soil. When you smell it, just when you cut it, if you cut it, put it close to your eyes, you just, you know, your, your eyes would just turn red. It's a strong lemon, which we, we have on Roderick's. A lemon that will make you cry can also make you smell great. The lemon of Rodrigues mainly grows around the coastal areas. Ahead, meet the local innovator experimenting with turning these special lemons into essential oils. It is almost one year that we have started the distillery uh, session for lemon oil, essential lemon oil, and it is still in the experimental uh, stage. Thinking of banking in Africa, think Zenith. In today's fast-moving, fast-changing world, you need a financial partner that understands your unique expectations. A bank with presence in major financial centers across the world, with the enabling platform to facilitate seamlessly, whenever, wherever, however. A bank with best-in-class financial solutions from a superb combination of technology and human touch for easy, fast, and secure banking that creates real value. Turning dreams into reality is now in your hands. People, technology, service. Zenith Bank, in your best interest. There are all kinds of smiles. The I am blessed smile. The caught you smile. The not a care in the world smile. And the wish I were a child smile. Kirloska, behind a million smiles, silently and reliably. This is the floor of the New York Stock Exchange. From here, we'll bring you the events moving the business world. The Express, today on CNN. A GPS exclusive. Colin Powell and Madeleine Albright. Two former secretaries of state weighing in on Russia, Iran, and China. The state of America's relations with the world under Trump. Fareed Zakaria, GPS, Sunday. This is CNN. Hidden amongst the lemon groves and green canopy of Rodriguez Island is an innovative cottage enterprise a local distillery producing essential oils from the Rodriguez lemon. This is a passion project for Francoise Baptiste, co-owner and director of La Belle Rodriguez, a boutique hotel located in Gravier, the south of Rodriguez Island. Gravier is a coastal village, and it is known for two reasons. Uh, there's a fisherman, for octopus, but it is also mainly known as the Lemon Village. But unfortunately, not all the lemons that are grown here make it to market. I see all of the lemons under the trees like this. People don't find buyers. So many lemons, I think, you know? So, so there's many reasons for that. I, I, I see that the lemons are underutilized. so many lemons going to waste, Francoise was inspired to help the farmers in her community turn them into cash. After
After some research, she realized one way to utilize large amounts of lemons was to begin making essential oils through a distillation process. So with my husband, we started to make researches, how to do it, where to get the materials. Some of the materials we import from Reunion Island, you know, and uh, we took contact to help building the cylinder and all the distillery reset. It is almost one year that we have started the distillery session for essential lemon oil, and it is still in the experimental stage. Producing concentrated aromatic oils extracted directly from the lemons requires a lot of lemons. Francoise needs a constant supply for her distillery. We're going in the village of Gravier with Jessica, which is she's with whom I buy the lemon to do the essential oils and all the products, uh, lemon-based products, yeah. I'm uh, aiming to buy 2,000 again, 2,000 lemons. The people, they are really happy because uh, I take a lot of lemon from them. It's really very expensive for us presently to do the lemon essential oils. Uh, for example, when we got 2,000 lemons, you know, you get roughly around 30 ml of essential oils, you know. 30 ml of essential oils from around uh, 2,000 lemons. That's all we got. It is very concentrated. It is very pure. As soon as Francoise returns with the lemons, her team washes them and fills them into the boiler. It is a very artisanal distillery. We are using wood for the boiling process. When it is boiling, the vapor uh, travel in a tube and then go in a, a cubicle. And in this there's some uh, liquid rounded tube we call serpente. There's cold water, cold water uh, flowing in it. The vapor condensation gives the flow of water. And in it, there's the essential oils. What happens is that the essential oils being less condensed or uh, lighter, it goes up and down remain the flow of water. And then we can connect in a small tube, in a bottle, we put up a bottle, so we can connect the essential oils through the small tube in a glass. 2,000 lemons and five hours later, the distillation process is complete. All of that work for 20 milliliters of oil but as an essential oil, there is a myriad of applications. As from the lemon oil, essential oil, we do the massage. The massage oil, we add the essential oils in it, and this is very good for the skin. Francoise has the housekeeping staff use the lemon oil air freshener in all the rooms of the hotel. Some of the lemon oil is put in diffusers, so the pleasant scent lingers all day. We can do the essential oils in, in food, in pastry, in uh, dishes, other dishes, to give flavors and also to enhance the, the taste. bread baked at Francoise's hotel make use of the lemons in this fashion. Janet has got a lot of force. <laughs> She's strong. Taking it a step further and adding some of the shredded lemon skin, Francoise is truly able to strengthen the flavor of her hotel bread. And according to her, her guests love it. You know, the fact that I use the, lemon, the, the skin of the lemon, as it is in the pastry, in the cake, and in different desert preparation, is due to the fact that in the village, we grow the lemon organically. 
No chemicals, no pesticides, no insecticides, nothing is being added. Very good, tasting very nice. Mm. The lemon taste in it, so just wow, wonderful. Jean Richard Payendi is the Commissioner of Environment, Fisheries, and Agriculture in Rodriguez. A botanist by training, he sees the popularity of the lemon as an opportunity to fight climate change. The government is giving an incentive to the Rodriguez to plant more lemons. We are giving out lens to people. We are helping them to fence the piece of land. We are giving them the seedlings, possibly putting water tanks if necessary. And uh, at the end of the day, the contract is they have to plant the trees, and mainly lemon. All the money that comes out of lemon will, become, will be for the, for the person who created the forest. We can plant trees that can make money, give nature what it wants, and then make money out of these trees. Thinking of banking in Africa, think Zenith. In today's fast-moving, fast-changing world, you need a financial partner that understands your unique expectations. A bank with presence in major financial centers across the world, with the enabling platform to facilitate seamlessly, whenever, wherever, however. A bank with best-in-class financial solutions from a superb combination of technology and human touch for easy, fast, and secure banking that creates real value. Turning dreams into reality is now in your hands. People, technology, service. Zenith Bank, in your best interest. There are all kinds of smiles. The everything will be fine smile. The my daddy is the best smile. The not a care in the world smile. And the wish I were a child smile. Kirloska, behind a million smiles, silently and reliably. Real news that shapes our world. Connect the world with Becky Anderson, Sunday to Thursday on CNN. We try to be global and we try to be smart. What I want to hear are authentic voices of people who are passionate, who are intelligent, and that's the consistency that we try to get. For Reed Zakaria GPS, Sunday on CNN. On the island of Mauritius, in a facility called the Mauritius Biopark, Scientists are experimenting with the special lemon of Rodriguez Island. My name is Jean-Louis Raoul, and I am the CEO of a company called Biolabex, which is situated in Mauritius. Biolabex was created around two and a half years ago in Mauritius. Why Mauritius? Because the island is known for its biodiversity in the Indian Ocean. This is really the main reason, and today the demand for its biodiversity is enormous. It comes from the cosmetology and pharmaceutical industries. So the role of Biolabex is to screen all the plants and analyze them in order to create an identity card for each one. One sample that we took a particular interest in was this little lemon grown in the neighboring island of Rodriguez. Et très vite, on s'est aperçu que ce petit limon avait une odeur particulière. Very quickly, we realized that the lemon had a very specific scent. Through analytical chemistry, we soon discovered that it shows important flagrant capacities. We continued the investigation further and further until the lemon extract eventually caught the interest of the cosmetic and perfume industry. 
Dr. Veronique Newton is in charge of preclinical tests and extraction at BioLabX. Her team led the research and development on the lemon of Rodriguez. So the lemon of Rodrigue became one of our key natural ingredients that we were looking for because it had this characteristic smell and fragrance. It was growing from a specific terroir uh, in Rodrigue's island. We wanted to know, even though this lemon of Rodrigue was derived from the lime, the Mexican lime, we thought that it could have characteristic that was quite distinct because of its uh, terroir, because of all the characteristic that was behind that. So we did essential oil of this uh, Limon de Rodrigue that we characterized analytically to see uh, what were the molecules that were present into this uh, essential oil, compare it with other limes. So for the essential oil production, what we do is that we usually slice the fruit so that the surface area is increased, that is going to be in contact with water. After slicing the lemons, they are placed in a special machine for the production of essential oil. This machine allows hydro distillation. We have the lemons that we have sliced and we have added water into it. It's going to turn into a water bath of at high temperature with high pressure. The essential oils, we start to test it right away. So it either goes to the formulation part where it's going to be integrated in a formula directly for its fragrance, or it can be added to cosmetic products for uh, other activities such as whitening or anti-age. Leading the cosmetic research project at BioLabX is Dr. Julie Heredil. Today, she is working on the development of cosmetology products, including a lotion and a shampoo that make use of extracts from the Rodriguez lemon. When we develop a product cosmetic, in the end of development, when we develop a cosmetic product. Towards the end of the development, we do a sensory analysis here in the laboratory. This way, we can evaluate the texture of the product. We do this by measuring the viscosity. Is it thick or is it liquid? Does it flow enough? Can it adapt itself to the condition? We also evaluate touch, how it spreads itself quickly or slowly. We will test to see if the product feels sticky or sufficiently soft. Is it velvety enough? Is it dry or more nourishing? After this, we also evaluate the visual aspects. If the product is transparent enough, or is it white and shiny enough for an emulsion, for example? Do we need to add a dye or a protector to prevent the product from yellowing over time? The concentrated oils extracted from the Rodriguez lemon have proven to be the perfect additive to everything from lotions to shampoos and shower gels. The ingredients that come from lemon of Rodriguez enable us to get products with a specific odor which not only smell really good but can also add to its essence. We also have the water from the fruit which has a very pleasant smell, which we introduce into lotions and skin products. This helps create the perfume qualities, as well as introduce different properties into the products. The lemon of Rodrigue is capable of a man to in the water. We in the The lab eventually sends these samples to the Commission of Environment, Fisheries and Agriculture back in Rodriguez. The products include lotion, perfumes, and a soft drink. We are not, no longer interested in selling only the lemons, but we will sell the essential oil. So all this work will be done on the island itself, on Rodrigues. So we have seen that it can become the goal of Rodrigues, because we don't have gold, we don't have all these things, but le the lemon of Rodrigues can become the goal of Rodrigues. And that's why we are interested in planting more lemons and we are giving 
uh, seedlings to people. We are asking people to create new forests with lemon. And uh, we think that in the future, this lemon is special, it's great. So there's, the potential is big. Inside Africa, in association with Zenith Bank.